everybody welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here I'm Emily be sure to hit the subscribe button down in the bit below so that you don't miss any of my random ramblings in the future it's very nice to have you here today we are doing a slightly different video it's something that I've recently really got into and I've been watching these videos on YouTube obsessively for the past two three weeks maybe I have started collecting plants I've not started collecting them I've adopted them I bloody love them. I used to be the sort of person who would completely kill plants. Like I'd have one and it'd just be dead within the week. I've managed to keep a couple alive and even like grow some from nothing. I'm quite happy with that. So I thought I would share with you my plant collection. And I want to do one of these in a couple of months, years, whatever as well to show you how my collection has grown and how the plants that I have now will have grown in the future. I'm also hoping to pop this on YouTube to get some help because some of my plants I really don't know how to look after and there's not really much if information online on them. So yeah, hopefully this is going to be a two-way process. I show you and then the community hopefully gives back and tells me how the hell not to kill the things that I'm growing in my bedroom. That also sounds weird. But I'm just going to get started because it is absolutely boiling in my room. I had to close my window because the traffic noises are really loud, which basically means my room heats up like a greenhouse. Great for the plants, not too great for me. And I am sweating. So without further ado let's get started i'm going to start with the ones that i'm actually growing in my kitchen at the moment um just because the lighting is slightly different it's um yeah rise in the west rise in the east sets in the west i don't even know actually basically there's different lighting in my bedroom to the lighting that's in my kitchen and some of the plants like it a bit more down there and they're a bit easier to water and look after down there so i'm going to start with those ones the first one is one that I've actually been growing from for quite a while. I'm growing a pineapple plant. Now, he doesn't look very attractive because he's still in like a nursery pot. But what I actually did with this one is this is a pineapple that we bought from like Asda and we ate and I chopped the top off. And if you can see in here, this is like the old top of the pineapple. And all of these shoots here that are growing up are like new pineapple. What I did is I cut like all of the excess pineapple off and just put it in a cup of water for about two months and it grew roots off of like the pineapple. It was really weird. And I've just planted it in a pot and it started growing like proper shoots now. I do need to bring it in from like direct sunlight because it is scorching the ends of the leaves slightly. But other than that, it's doing so, so well. Um, I am watering this one pretty much every day because it has been in water. So I'm assuming that it likes the moisture. It's doing well, basically. Watering it pretty much every day, keeping the soil nice and moist. So yeah, it's my little pineapple plant. Quite proud of him. This one is a new addition. I actually adopted this one from a friend who was neglecting it really badly. So my nan took it and gave it to me, and I'm gonna nurse it back to health, but it is an aloe vera. And as you can see, all his leaves are like, all of his stalks are dying a bit. So I literally got him yesterday. So I'm gonna nurse him back to life. And hopefully when I check back in in a couple of months, He'll be thriving and looking a lot healthier than he is right now. Um, I did repot him and put some like fertilizer on him and feed him with some succulent food. So I'm gonna give that a couple weeks to kind of kick in and then see how it goes. This is a basket of things that I keep in my kitchen. These are ones that I've taken from my grandparents' garden, these two here. So we have pigweed and house leek. So this pigweed has kind of got these like um, green and pink um, petally leaves on them and I can even see like some new flowery I don't know whether to call them flowers or leaves but it is a succulent so I'm, I'm gonna say leaves um, new leaves are budding along the stalk so hopefully that should expand pretty quickly but again I've only had these for like a week or so house leeks are really easy to look after they don't need anything just some bright sunlight and some sort of soil or dirt to put them in and he is absolutely loving life and doing really well in the sun and these here are two fairy washboard plants and these actually came off my other fairy washboard plant which i will show you in a minute um and they were too squashed in the pot that they were in so i repotted them into this bigger one and have been giving them some love but do need to move them to a slightly shadier place now because they are going a bit brown um but yeah hopefully these ones are going to grow a little bit more and then i'm going to pop these ones into a terrarium hence why again they're still in their nursery pots but yeah, I got these ones as well. So that's it for my kitchen plants. They kind of live there. These ones here are my bedroom plants. Like I said, my bedroom gets very hot and muggy. So it's very good for kind of like tropical plants who like the humidity. I'm gonna start with our um, resident veteran plant. This is my aloe. 
So about a year ago, pretty much a year ago, before I went to uni, my nan gave me this aloe and was like, you can look after it, like it's really easy to look after. Just water it like once a month, you'll be absolutely fine. Oh my God, she couldn't have been more wrong. Like I found it so hard, like I'm such a plant killer. I was watering it too much basically, but I've nursed him back to life and he still like has a way to go. He's got some like fragile ones, but he is loving life. So this is like the OG aloe. I've actually taken a couple of the little seedlings that he's grown and put them in different pots and they're growing downstairs. He's loving life. He comes in this, he's got this lovely little like pot. I think it's from Tesco, but I love it. Um, yeah, he's like a water whenever the soil goes really dry. I basically just neglect him now. I was neglecting him before, but like now I just like really like neglect him properly. So this is my other fairy washboard. Um, it's a type of aloe basically, and it came in this tiny little pot and it had all three in there. So I've taken the other two out, but this one's like living quite happily in this little pot. And I think the little ceramic pot for it is adorable as well. Um, yeah, just thought I'd show you him. Last on the list of succulents is this one. Now this one is a wide leaf aloe. I actually got this one for my birthday. It was growing so, so well. And then all of a sudden it was like, just in the month before I came back from uni. It just started dying and I didn't know why. Um, I still don't know why, to be honest. I think it was the pot was getting too small for it. So I repotted it in a big one. And before it was just like these leaves down here and they were just growing like up and really like bushy. And all of a sudden it's got like loads of them growing out the middle. And I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, hopefully it should be nice and big. Again, this is another ceramic pot I've got him in. Um, and he's in like a nursery pot inside. This is the same for most of my plants um, because I like to be able to sort of chop and change the pots and a lot of them don't have drainage holes. It's really important that you have drainage holes in your pots so you don't get root rot, which is where the water like sits around the roots of the um, plant and it basically like suffocates it or drowns it. Yeah, this is my wide leaf aloe. I only water him as much as I water my aloes as well. Um, like it's exactly the same, but he does a little bit better in bright sunlight. Um, I found my other aloe just hated the sunlight and just turned brown. He's doing quite well in like direct sunlight. So that is it for succulents. So I thought I'd move on to plants. This is my parlor palm plant um this one basically looks like a little bamboo and he's actually got some new like leaves sprouting which is so exciting so when i bought him he didn't got him from ikea actually and a pot from the um garden center and he is actually potted in his pot he's the only one because this one has a drainage hole the plan is to actually grow it so it's nice and big and have like a nice floor standing one he does like a little bit more water i tend to have to water him every like two or three days um keeping the soil nice and moist um and he does quite well in like partial shade and humidity so he sits just on my chest of drawers um where there's no like direct sunlight but it's nice and bright but yeah he's like absolutely loving life I've got some funny little leaves here that are like joined together but he's lovely i also need names for my plants none of them have names so if anybody would like to suggest some names in the comment section please do um and i'll see which ones i like the most or which ones are the most popular and we'll name name the plants so this one's my big boy he is arguably he's not arguably the most difficult he is the most difficult of all of my plants this one is a siam tulip i also bought him on ikea he was in the reduced like discount bargain corner section because all of his flowers had died so i read upon it and i just had to cut the flowers off um, and it really likes humidity apparently and like a moist soil that's not too mushy but I'm really struggling with it. I feel like it's wilting, but I'm not too sure. Like I can't remember what it looked like when I bought it. It did have like these little scorch marks and like bruises and things when I bought it. I don't know if I'm making it worse because the leaves are kind of like curling up. I don't really know what to do, but if anybody knows how to look after a Siam tulip, please, please put it in the comments, DM me, like message me on Instagram because I really want to look after him well because he is gorgeous. I've got him in this really nice wicker basket again from Ikea with some fairy lights around it. Um, but yeah, it's like a nice floor plant, so I want him to do well. Um, but no one on YouTube or Instagram seems to have a Siam tulip in their collection. I don't know whether that's because they're boring or they're really hard to look after, but some advice would be really nice. And then last but not least, probably my favourite because I just love it so much. I have an English Ivy. Um, it is bloody gorgeous. Basically, I like that it's all like really deep green and it's gonna grow really nice and long. So at the moment, I don't know if you can see, but they've got quite long, like descending bits and there's quite a few of them as well. 
they go like all the way round. But currently he just sits on my seat by my mirror and he loves it there because the sun gets quite close but it never touches it. Um, and again, it gets quite muggy up here. And what I actually do with this one and my Siam Tulip, when I have a bath, I'll take it down into the bathroom because it's like a sauna in there. And they absolutely love the humidity. But yeah, again, in a pot from Ikea. But yeah, this is my English Ivy. Um, I tend to just water him when his soil gets like too dry. But again, keeping him in the humidity in the bathroom um, is good too. But again, it really needs a name for him. I also have a page in my diary that is set out a bit like a bullet journal. And it's this one here. It tells me all about all of my plants, how often I need to water them, what sunlight they like, how to like care for them. And it's all laid out really, really pretty. And I absolutely love it because when I forget how to look after something, I can just like look in the book and it tells me everything and it took me bloody ages so I'm thinking of doing more bullet journal pages like this um, but I just found it really handy and if anybody else is starting out with like plants and things like that as well I definitely recommend creating yourself a sort of like index page where you can sort of refer back to because that was, I found that so 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 helpful so that is it that is my plant collection it's not as extensive as the ones you see on the like plantstagram or the sort of horticulture side of youtube which i am really into right now i will link below some really nice videos or i'll pop them in a card or something that i've been watching that i've absolutely loved from people who have lots and lots of plants um, and i've taken lots of inspiration from i am planning on expanding my plant collection quite rapidly but not just yet because i need to be able to take these down to uni with me and at the moment it's looking like an impossible feat so when i go to uni i will definitely get more but right now i think this is my limit but yeah i hope you enjoyed looking at all of my plants i think they look so gorgeous like oh, i just love them so much they fill me with so much joy and they're like my babies like my mom's like they're just plants they're like pets i was like no they are my children and if you can think of any names to call them as well that would be so so helpful because i have no idea what to call them and i'm really bad at naming things so please comment below with names for the plants equally if you have any questions about my plants and how i look after them please pop them in the comments section below i would absolutely love to answer your questions that you have and please if you have any advice as well like please please if you have advice again pop it in the comments or dm me because i need help like big help i'm only just like dipping my toes into this plant world and I need some one to hold my hand as I do that. Again, if you are new here, please hit subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, thank you very much. Please hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I post, because what could be better than that? And enjoy the rest of your week until I'll see you on Wednesday next week in another lovely video. So from me and my plants, adios. That's it basically.